Good morning, y'all. It is still morning. It's after 11. I've been up since early. Um, let me see. I want to start by saying, y'all, you just blew me away with all of your wonderful comments and your prayers for Miss Hazel. She's doing a lot better. In fact, you should have seen her last night. I took her out for her little potty visit. And y'all, um, she was running around like a little maniac wanting to play. She must not be like in pain because she, she couldn't do what she was doing if she was in pain. So she's doing a lot better and thank you, thank you, thank you for your prayers. And I want to say I saw so many people that I didn't um, recognize and you must be like new viewers or viewers who don't comment very often and I so appreciate you and if you're new welcome to the community um what else was I gonna say oh um I think I might have gotten a little snippy with one of y'all and I'm sorry, I apologize for that, but I let several comments get to me, and what it was is so many of y'all were telling me that I needed to get Hazel a ramp. Well, y'all, I am Hazel's ramp. She does not go up and down the stairs. She does not get in and out of the van. She does not get up and down off the bed, even though it's tiny now. Um, she does not get up and down from my recliner or the love seat. She is very pampered. So, um, I guess it kind of irritated me to think that y'all would think that I wasn't bright enough to realize she shouldn't be running up and down the stairs. Um, she hasn't been doing that for a long time. I take her up and down myself. Now, she did fly off that day. And, um, the reason that, um, she fell at the bottom of the stairs is because of her, uh, perception, because of her loss of sight. But she's very well taken care of, y'all, and I would never, um, ever let her hurt herself um i watch her very closely and the little stinker she was running wild in the trailer this morning weren't you she was having a little blue cottage moment let me tell you so um i'm not encouraging her to run and play she needs to take it easy so, again, y'all, she's being pampered, and um, she acts like, I mean, she's still having some, you know, weakness, um, I see occasionally. But here's another thing, y'all, and I had been thinking about this for a long time, and now, Lulu, Lulu Bell? <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I can't help but laugh. I'm going to say something that hints at giving me gifts. 
Now, all of y'all that have given me a big monetary gift or a huge, you know, uh, a gift card. I don't know how you're sending those gift cards because very few people have my address. But anyway, um, some of y'all brought up uh, Hazel's uh, traction on the floors. And I have been, in fact, I think I, I put some pictures in a video once of some really pretty colorful rugs. And um, what I would like to do is get like a 9 by 10. I didn't want to get a rug that big, but I think for us to have a little place for her to play on without losing uh, or without having traction would be good for her because I was watching her really close this morning and she was trying to get me to play with her while I was trying to tinkle and um, her little front legs were slipping. So, um, and one of you uh, made a remark about a suggestion, rather, not a remark, but a suggestion about um, a runner for the hallway. And I think that's a really good idea. So, um, you know, when y'all send me all that money and um, after I get through buying my new van, which will be totally decked out, of course, you know, probably a $70,000 van, then if there's any money left over, I will get Hazel some rugs. <laughs> I cannot help it. I mean, sometimes people make comments that just, I mean, they just so blow my mind. And, sweetie, I was just sitting and answering some comments this morning. I always feel like I'm behind. But um, I had to come out to two drug stores um, and uh, to drop off these monstrous chairs. And one of y'all noticed that, that they were in the back of the van. And, yes, they're going to go to the DAV. Um which is a veterans um, thrift store. Y'all know that um, I care deeply about our military. Dear God, don't let me get started. I won't, I won't, I won't. Um, so, um, one of y'all uh, answered a remark. Uh, that Lulu made and y'all don't get on to me because I'm bringing her up I what I would really like is for y'all to pray for her if she is a girl because only people that are deeply unhappy and dissatisfied with their own lives would try to attack someone that they don't know. I mean, that's just pathetic. And if you live anywhere close to me, sweetie, you are welcome to come and have a visit with me. And at least before you try to tear me up, get to know me a little, okay? Don't rely on another hateful person's warped perception. That's not good. I try to make my own uh, decisions about other people that are independent of any gossip that I might hear. But anyway... Do your best, sweetie. You don't bother me. I'm praying for you because going around with feelings like that is so unhealthy. 
waking up in the morning with hatred and bitterness and then going to bed the same way you are rotting your soul and your spirit please don't do that i mean i'm not asking you to stop picking on me because it doesn't bother me if you're picking on me you're not picking on someone else but sweetie when you responded to her that if my van died on me you would be happy to kick in a couple bucks to help me out and so would the rest of y'all i so appreciated that and you know what i truly believe that y'all would just like i would i would totally help somebody if they needed it um, there have been a couple of van dwellers in the past that have had some really, you know, tough luck. And those of us in the community rallied around and we helped them. And that is what friends do. So, you know, anybody that has a problem with that must not have anybody in their life that cares about them that would help them if they had a problem that's that's very sad but anyway um it started out a brilliant day today and the sun always comes in my bedroom window that that i'm facing which is awesome sometimes i have to cover my face um when it's really early but um and then it got dark and gloomy again but as y'all can probably tell it's really trying to be a beautiful day now um i wanted to show you teresa asked me if I got her Mother's Day card that she sent me. Well, I never check my mail, y'all. I just get all that trashy mail. You know, you get stuff from from uh, uh, Kohl's and Bed Bath and Beyond. I mean, they send you stuff almost every day. So, I rarely check my mail. Um, but anyway, I wanted to show y'all this adorable card. <laughs> Is that cute or what? Check out that hair. Oh my gosh. Now I'm going to tell y'all, thank you, sweetie, so much. It is so cute, and it really made me smile. Inside, it says, feel free to let your hair down. Now, when I was in beauty college or cosmetology school, whatever you want to call it, we called it beauty college back then. We thought we were a big deal. But anyway, um, we used to have to practice what we called updos because when it would get prom time all the girls would be coming in to get those beehive updos with a couple little curls right here and um teased and sprayed to the max and um i love doing them but what was really hard is when you got some young lady in there. Now, y'all know my hair is not really straight like this. I do this with a thingamajig. But when you would get some young girl come in and she had really fine, straight as a stick hair. And she wanted a hairdo like that. Well, y'all, that was nearly impossible. Unless she had really long hair. And then you could just wrap and wrap and wrap the curls and then pin them to her scalp. 
And sometimes girls would come in with this little hair thingy. Y'all know a top knot or I don't know what you call it. But anyway, it was a lot of fun. But um, let's see. Today, drug stores dropping off the chairs. I'm going to feed Terry a uh, tortellini I think and meatballs and then I'm going to go visit Carol so that's the day today y'all no dirt for me oh boo -hoo. anyway love y'all do something fun today and I know I have put out a bunch of videos this morning I'm trying to catch them up talk to y'all later bye now